back in the day, but once she joined the Order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. <laughs> um, oh, ask if it was Dallas who invented these god awful collars. She nods once. <gasps> oh my god, I made her my friend, and so now she's telling me shit. Oh my god. You're looking to buy something, or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? For you? <laughs> Hell no. Oh. Worthy is exactly the right word. Someone who's proven himself might earn my time of day. Speaking of, you haven't. So buy or shove off. All manner of things. Have a look. Do I have to buy something to make her happy? And like me? Your offer insults me. Oh. 54 gold. I'll give her 60. Because I like ya. Thanks, ho. Those will be helpful, right? Oh shit, what does this do? Peer through this closely to analyze and classify equipment. It's as good as the skill of one who holds it. Is that worth it? She wants a gift. Uh, I don't know what to give her. A little hand I got. Oh shit, right there. <gasps> Selling wares. Items in your inventory that are marked as wares can be sold in one go. Oh god. Not that one. A little hand. This one? The one above. Oh, this one. This one? Where the fuck? This. Add gold. Oh, it's the scale. No, you're fine. I should have just read. I could just read. It's totally okay. Your grift teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. I'm gonna give you a gross fish. And some soup. You found an identifying glass. If your lore master ability is high enough, you'll be able to identify items. Sick. Disgusting like threats. God. Will you quit dragging this on? Find that on next week. Just add over the gold. No, you okay. I didn't know either. Here, let's do. Do you like me yet? You approach, wiping her brow with a grease blackened hand. What do you need? Ha, the hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather would have been a likelier name. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. I was always taught with, sh like, I like mussels. I love mussels. Mussels and clams, like, steamed in, like, white wine and butter with some garlic and, like, rosemary and shallots. Fuck me up. Um, but I was always taught that when you buy them, they should be alive and fresh. And you should put them in a big bowl of cold water and, like, let them be alive for a couple hours in the cold water. And they'll filter the sand out themselves, drinking the fresh water, at least most of it. That's what I was taught to do with mussels and clams, but I don't like spoilers. I don't like spoilers. The only thing I like help with is if I ask for help, like a mechanic of the game or something. Like if I'm fucking up a mechanic or I'm not noticing or I'm not doing something like I'm not leveling up or something. But no like story hints or anything. People don't change. I like to figure it out. Don't they? She nods once. Clever lasser. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. 
Question is, what she sees in him. Mm. Well, got a little bit more information. That is all stealing. No, Katie. Yeah, I don't mind them in the cooked fish. That's the weird thing. It's the rawness of it that freaks me out. Like, I don't mind it if I've found sand in my mussels and in my clams and in my shrimp seas and all that stuff and none of that phases me but the it's the raw oyster and like the saltiness of it and the weird gooey like texture in my mouth makes me feel icky <laughs> a kitchen pot hello oh my god what is wrong with her leave me what in the <laughs> fuck Um, note her pala and ask if she needs help. You leave me be. Just <coughs> leave. Can I heal you? Perhaps, maybe. Oh, sad. I'm quite sad for her. Oh, she's melting. Can I help her? I don't think I did it. She's still really sad. She groans in pain, refusing or unable to acknowledge you. That lady's just trying to social distance? I mean... There's not, like, a known pandemic going on right now in this game, is there? Do I have to be worried about social distancing in the game world as well? I've been stocking my shells with sardines and... Oh, I love canned fish. Oh, yeah. Smoked, smoked oysters are one of my favorites. Smoked oysters on... Uh, on crackers. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, what's in this barrel, though? Ooh, what's in there? Who's this? That's scary. Hello. That special, shipment he was asking after. special shit. Take your coin, then. So this is for You looking for a match? You'll have a good head on most of the competition, that's for certain. A <laughs> good tail, too. Oh, lugs won't know what hit them. Mm-hmm. I just like saltines with it. Saltines are pretty good. They're pretty salty for some people, but I love salt. What's going on? Oh, okay. Um, ask what she means. What sort of matches are held here? Scholar, your stomach does a somersault. This would be an arena of the one, home to the fabled cult of battle. Ask her to tell you more. Say you've lain low lizards twice your size. Height or length has little to do with martial prowess. Nothing I can tell you you can't find out by slipping down that hatch. If you've got the spit in you, that is. I've got spit in me. All right, before we slide down there, guys, I'm going to take my next break. It's 12, which means it's time to go pee myself and my dogs. I have to pee so bad. So bad. So I'm going to go pee and take my dogs out. And then we're going to play some more games. Um, new save, please. This one, Katie. Don't get mixed up. I hope not. I always pee myself for first, just in case. Um, also, if you've never had it before, Ike Wolf, canned pulpo, 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 is fucking delicious. Be right back. Oops, pause that music. Too much music. All right, so I talked to her. Have I gone up there? Haven't talked to you yet. What up, B? Would you like to have a conversation, Butter? Heading into the kitchen? Oh. Don't try anything funny around Griff. I'm watching you. Ask her if she likes what she sees. 
What do you like? Do you like what you see? Ha! Oh. What's your name? When I was attacked by a Great Dane as a kid, I also remember their yelling, their yeller, their owner yelling, she wants, just wants to play. Uh, you were attacked by a Great Dane? Oh my god, that had to have been horrifying. Holy crap. Did it bite you or anything? Did it like attack? Like, uh, I don't even want to know. Do you want to relive it? You can tell me if you don't want, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Potatoes started barking at people more when we go out on the patio, but I'm not going to discourage that. He doesn't bark at people he knows well, just unfamiliar people. I prefer to be alerted to some unmasked idiot creeping up on my patio. Have I heard Millie yet? No, I have not found her. Apparently it's a while. Um, she, You can call me whatever you want, butter. All right, Slick. I haven't seen you around here before. When did you get in? Um... I washed up on the beach not long ago. I'm still getting my bearings. I remember that feeling all too well. Um, have you been here a long time? Long enough, I reckon. I'm surprised they haven't come for me yet. Oh. Most folks get taken away for the cure after just a week or two. The cure? Oh, David! Oh, God! David, I am so sorry that happened to you. No shit, it was telling you. Those things were like horses. <gasps> Holy crap. I am so fucking sorry that happened to you. Uh... Oh, me so much. That is terrifying. That's kind of like, I mean, not, not the same. Similar. Eliza's dog. Um... Jane, the dog that jumped its home fence and ripped open Jane's neck and tried to kill Jane, um, was apparently a service dog. Um, have you ever thought about escaping? By the divine, haven't I? <gasps> Back home again, or to somewhere? They got my dick message. Why? Reconnected Emerald has Freedom. just donated $17.76. Have you ever had a fart that chainsaws up and a hits the one spot that was itchy? No, but I have had a fart creep up my vagina and come out the front of me, which is a very strange feeling. It's like a bubble, a little labia pop. It's very weird. I fart very infrequently, but that has happened. This reminds me that my daughter got attacked by two different dongs. One was a tiny poodle who was going to bite her face. But her great-grandfather said quickly enough to the knee the dog away before the bite. The second one looked like those police dogs who run in front of her and started barking. I'm just saying, I haven't had one chainsaw up for an itch yet. But I have had the, the, the pee pee toots. Those are weird. It happens. If you're wearing pants that are too tight, like really tight denim or something. It's amazing. <laughs> but those are just dreams. No one can escape from here. <coughs> David, that would scare the shit out of me. That's kind of like me and horses. Wait, after the horse stepped on my face, I just had like an insane fear of horses for years. I'm still very nervous around horses. I'm very respectful around them. I usually fart out my puss. Like, did it come out your butt first? Or are you just like constantly queefing? Because that could be a weird leak in your body and you should get that checked. I had a patient that used to, I don't, won't even say it. A horse stepped on my face? Yeah. Three days before my 13th birthday, I was training this lady's Arabian horse to do barrel riding. And she was beautiful, pure white Arabian horse named Nadia. And she could do all these cool prancy tricks and everything. And so the lady that owned the farm was like, okay, we've done like, we did a bunch of tricks inside. She was great at the barrel stuff. And then she was like, all right, take her on the corral run. It's like this big loop. Just walk her a couple times just to like cool her off. 
and she let one of her dogs out and the, the lady who owned the ranch let the dog out and the dog rushed the horse and the horse did not was not owned by this place it was like someone else brought it in and no one knew it was green or something like that it was something weird like that it was a green horse meaning unbroken um and the dog spooked it and the horse bucked me off my head hit a boulder and the horse just went nay on my body like it farted on my butt yeah yeah those are the puss farts i'm glad you're not queefing regularly that would be a problem it breaks my heart when people judge, judge dogs so heavily. I have two pit bulls. It's not the breed. I think it's honestly the owners. Because I've known really great Great Danes. And I've known Great Danes that are extremely dangerous. Like, very aggressive dogs. The pun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> I was chased and trapped up a tree by a rabid St. Bernard when I was eight. See, and St. Bernard's are supposed to be, like, the nicest dogs. Yep, I've known lots of wonderful pit bulls, and I've known labs that are mean as fuck. I, I think it's all in the owner and the socialization, which is why I try to socialize my dogs as much as I possibly can. Tell your dead serious about it, and when you find a way out, she should come with you. She laughs. The sound fills the air like the ringing of a bell. Oh. Oh no, this lady in my story just shouldn't have a dog. The lady who owned it. That's sad. You know, Taylor, I've known a lot of... Like, small dogs tend to get away with more, so I've known some mean Man, small dogs. That be something? She was a total Karen. Mm, that makes me sad. They shouldn't be allowed to have a dog. We don't know each other very well, but time is so short, and, and a connection is so rare. <laughs> if we get out of here, will you meet me again in arcs? Hmm... Express surprise that she'd show interest in a lizard. I don't care where you come from. Don't even care who you are, but I feel a connection, don't you? So, you'll meet me? These strange times can't last forever. You'll meet me then. See, Noxbite, that is kind of, I think that's kind of on the owners, though. You gotta socialize your dogs with kids if you think they're gonna be around kids. You know what I mean? Like, when you get a dog, that has to be a responsibility you're willing to take on. Like, I know my dogs are going to be around kids, and so whenever I can, I expose them to children and let kids pet them and fuck with them and tug on them. And I tug on them, I pull on their butt, and I pull on their face, and I fuck with my dogs all the time. Because I knew they'd be around kids. I think you kind of have to take that on as a parent of a dog and socialize your dog. And if you can't, I don't think you should get a dog because you run that risk. And I never, I mean, wow, ugh, it's so scary to run the risk of having a dog that might fucking drag a kid by its arm. Ah, scary fucking shit, man. Oh, Scott Coyote, that makes me happy that he has nice pities. I had, I grew up with um, German Shepherds and Rottweilers. Those were probably the two most stereotypical mean dogs, and they were fucking puppies. They were like goofy big black bears. Parents, I agree. Parents need to teach their kids to respect animals, but if you think your dog will ever need to be exposed to children, you from the moment you get that puppy, you need to start exposing them to children and whatever else they're going to be exposed to. Like, my dogs are constantly exposed to fireworks, so no loud noise ever freaks them out, ever, except a siren, because we never have those. I just think it's something you got to take on when you're an owner of a dog, because you just, ah, that's scary, scary. I would never want an aggressive dog. Ever. So they're really gentle. You know, um, Bree taught me that pit bulls were originally actually nanny dogs. Because they were so kind and so caring, but also protective. And so they would take care of dogs. Or, I mean, take care of babies. I didn't get the full details on it, but I thought that was really interesting. And it was in a, 
but it was icy in the alley and when grabbed me by the arm and dragged me across the ice oh my god <laughs> it was really fun to me jesus lobo oh cute i love dogs i just want them to be i want to give them every chance in the world to have a great life and anytime a dog gets labeled aggressive towards a kid or anyone you're gonna have problems and i just i don't want i want my dogs to have the best life ever ask why you need to wait say absolutely nothing oh i don't care where you come from don't even blah, blah. She leans forward and grazes <gasps> your cheek with her lips. <gasps> exactly. It's the owner's responsibility. 100%. 100%, David. Until owner's then. responsibility. I've never had a dog that loved babies and toddlers as much as he does. I didn't teach him that either. He just takes it upon himself to protect babies and toddlers. Cute. Yeah, Rune. It was Bree and Scott were telling me that because they have a, well, it's, you know, there's a million. I learned there's many different types of pit bulls. They have an American Staffordshire Terrier or whatever. Her name is Chili Cheese Dog and she's an adorable snuggle butt. Like I lay in her bed with her and she puts her paw on me to hold me down and licks me. Sweetest dog in the entire world. But they trained her to be really, really nice and exposed to people and, 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 you know, little kids and shit. And sat on her baby's head for a hot sec. Oh my god. Perhaps if those bleeding frogs did need so much. Oh, the same poodle attacked one of my wife's nieces, and I told it to my mother in law that they either train the dog or get rid of it. They have to train their dog, yeah. You have to give that dog a chance, man. I hate when people are like, well, that's just the way he is. No, they're not. Your dog becomes who you create. It's a child. It's just like I mean, it's not just like a child, but it's very similar to child rearing in that you create the animal. You create the person, you know. Don't want to catch Griff in a bad mood. I want to catch Griff. Who the fuck is Griff? Dominic. <gasps> Los. Bitch. By God. I Will found her. This on? Find that on, Lexi. Just hand over the gold. An odd-looking young woman is staring intently at the statue to the divine. Fingers curled rigidly at her sides. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Um, gently call out to her and ask if she's all right. Slowly approach and shake her. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Oh, shit. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Hi, who are you? Some lady? I'm Losa. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, I honestly like the number one thing I read about dog breeding or dog breeding, dog re dog rearing and puppy rearing is uh, a tired dog is an obedient dog. Literally, like if you work your dogs out, they're much more likely to do shit for you. Whereas if they just have that nervous energy, they literally can't concentrate on you. It's not really fair to them, especially for puppies. I also feel bad for huskies that aren't the easiest to raise in a sense that they have such strong personalities and need people. I know my brother got a, a husky when, when I was really young, a little baby husky, and they ended up giving it away to someone who had a farm because it needed so much exercise and they like lived in a development with the yard smaller than my bathroom, you know? It was just too much. They ended up sticking in a dog run all day, which was really fucking depressing. I think actually my parents were the ones that were like, you need to get rid of that dog. It's not living a good life. Oh, ignored a healer? That is like one of the most difficult breeds. They're so independent and so strong-willed. Oh my God. Like one of the number one breeds you can't ignore. Damn. Well, fuck. Nexio, is that a good thing? Working dogs need work. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, they need so much exercise. Oh my god. I know one person who has one and she lives on a farm. Yeah, they're amazing dogs, but you need basically, like, land. 
Does anyone know how to get your dog a job of some kind? I looked into it for my old dog because he's so trainable and didn't even know where to start looking. A job? What do you mean? Like as a therapy dog or something? I think you have to get them licensed through it. You'd like join a program and then the program will place you and like approve your dog and stuff. I'm not 100% sure though. Does anybody know? Wait, you mean you don't recognize me? I wasn't sure if you were happy about it, Nexio. I'd be stoked to be a stay-at-home employee, yeah. Yeah, it's like a train and a certified. It's a big thing to be a therapy dog. <coughs> this is my very first playthrough. Yep, Nox Bite. Mm-hmm. Great. Really. Well, it's a damn good story. <coughs> it is. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I was giving this concert up on Overlook Hill. There was a great crowd. They were really feeling it. Ooh, she's a bard. Kind well, of. I guess it was too good. I had me a little sauce flare up. Everyone went a bit, I don't know, wild, rabid. Source flare up? I snapped out of it before anyone got hurt, but the Magisters caught me backstage afterwards. Ask yourself, um, what exactly were you doing a moment ago? Was that a source for flare up as well? Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. You're going to need to elaborate for me. Put it like this you've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a, a roadside inn. Red door. <laughs> Funny story. Talking of dogs Friendly being... Door, um... Beckoning you in for half price. <coughs> Speaking of dogs being therapy dogs. Uh... Last Christmas, Eliza took care of Millie for me because I was going home for Christmas, obviously. And, uh, <coughs> <coughs> Eliza's mom put Millie in, like, a baby, like, satchel carrier and hid her in her jacket and snuck her into the old folks' home. Millie has all her shots and everything, so please don't freak out. And snuck her in so Eliza's grandpa could meet Millie. And they have all these pictures of Millie sitting on her grandpa's lap. And her grandpa was like, we'll take Millie. Like, everyone in the old folks' home loved Millie. And they all wanted to keep her. And I was like, you totally can take her more often if you want. Millie loves old people. They're her favorite people in the whole world. Like, the older, the better. Because she knows you're chill. It's like she can sense the chillness. It was great. Oh, she's like in, M Millie's in the family pictures. It's adorable. Like a god's damn gold star in for the disembodied. Um, Mystic, I may understand you more than you think. She gives you a searching look. Mm. Hmm. You seem pretty well adjusted. Looks can be deceiving. Ain't that just the truth? Word. Word, bitch. Word. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Oh, excuse me? The joy? Um, something about being a danger to yourself in society. Say you heard the accommodation was exceptional and had to see for yourself. Say it'd be all the more enjoyable if you had someone you to get take your joy today. Never forget to take your joy, and I guarantee your day will go as smooth as velvet. Yeah? Yes. I was just thinking the same sort of Thank thing. Thank you. So... You want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. Strength in numbers. Say that sounds like a good idea. It Join does, my right? crew. Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. Oh, really? So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <gasps> when, push comes to shove. She's going to pull a trick out on me? 
Sick. Oh, that was perfect timing. <laughs> For joy, perfect. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. 